first comes on live, you can't see yourself. So, yeah. you know, you don't know if you're going or whatever. <laughs> yeah, what'd you say right before we get on? Close your mouth, the fly, you're letting close, the flies close, in? No, I said, close your mouth, you look like a pest dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then right before that she's like oh look we Hi, clash Tina. we clash with colors yeah but it doesn't it probably looks worse here than it does there which is probably good i look cool i got the dungeon and dragon shirt on you don't i guess i'm not cool what can i say you make me look cool <laughs> I think you tried that last week. <laughs> Didn't he try that last week, you guys? I think he did. You, Those brownie points are just stacking up. <laughs> but apparently it didn't work. No, of course it does. It always <laughs> does. It's just, you know. All right. You know. Well, how's everybody doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking down at my phone like I can see you. <laughs> which I can't see you, but I can. I can see your name. So if... If you see me, say, <laughs> say we hi. Got, we got Lori. Hi, Lori. We have Dana. Okay. Um, Betsy. Hi, Betsy. We have Cindy. Nice. Welcome, yeah. everybody. Yeah. How are you guys doing? If you're looking at us and thinking, where are they? Where in the world are they? We're where in, in the world are we? We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale, Arizona. Tomorrow, we're heading out to Albuquerque. Mexico. And so, um, we saw my brother. Yes, and his wife a for a few days. It was lovely. And uh, now we're going off to see our daughter, our youngest daughter, and yes. our granddaughter, and, and our son-in-law son in Albuquerque. Yeah. And That's then fun. we are doing a little bit of a jaunting we're, after we're just that. We're gallivanting around yeah. Arizona and New Mexico. We had some people in this area say, hey, if you're coming in by our way, just stop in. And so, you know what? Doing it. We're, doing. we're, gonna we're like, in. this is fun. Let's just do it. <laughs> so um today, this evening, this evening for our evening. artist showcase, mm. um, we are showcasing next generation artists. She is incredible. As a matter of fact, um, I've never met her, but I know her parents. And so um uh they posted a, a piece of art that she had done, a painting that she had done this past week and I went, oh my gosh, I really, really, really want to um, have her do something for our backstage pass. Yeah. And so she was so willing to do that, which is awesome. She created a little video for you. Um, she is a, a 12 year old artist extraordinaire and uh, she uses her, her voice through painting and through uh, anime and that kind of thing. And uh, she speaks about things that are important to her. Yeah. And I love that. I love that. So I wanted to introduce, so happy to introduce Miss Sammy to you. Would you show Miss Sammy's? Sammy. Show Sammy's Samaria's. You, you gave her a nickname. Well, they call her Sammy. Okay. Well, I'm going to share Samaria. my, I'm going to share my screen here. So hold on a second. And then I got to find where this is. Here we go. And let me move my picture over there. Okay, so um, it might be a little, the volume might be a little low at first, but then it's gonna cut to some music and it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit louder at the end, just as a finish. So adjust up if you can't hear it, because so, you really wanna hear what she has to say, and then if it's too loud at the end, you can, you yeah, can adjust uh, lower. Just preparing you, um, but uh, this is a little video presentation, it's about a minute um, that her family put together, yeah. or two minutes, yeah. and uh, so. Here you go, enjoy. My name is Samaria. I am 12 years old and I'm going into seventh grade. I like to draw, I play piano, and I do a lot of sports. This is a drawing I did and um, it represents how sometimes we get caught up in a bunch of anxiety and fear. We feel ashamed. Why is all this happening? Um, but you can, but sometimes you just need a little a bit of happiness to help you, which is the rainbow umbrella. But it also shows how some people hide all their fear and anxiety behind happiness. And sometimes we need to notice the people who are not actually happy and are going through things. 
I think God influences my creativity by randomly giving me sparks of inspiration or motivation to make an art piece that shows something the world or anyone needs to be aware about. I hope you liked my art. Um, thank you. And you know that's the that's the, the the picture I saw posted, and I went, oh my gosh! And I am so grateful uh, to her and to her family for yeah. for letting us uh, into her world a little bit um, and see, you know, how God influences her her work, and um, just to hear her voice and to see her voice because yeah, you know so cool. that's we we got to see her voice in that painting, and um, I just I just love it. So Samaria. Good job, well done you. And um, I will post uh, later on, um, I will post in the comment section her YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel and uh, it's, uh, it's brilliant as she is. So there Pretty you go. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Samaria. So what are, what are we doing every Wednesday night? We're, yeah. we're, we're doing the showcasing. Things. We are doing the showcasing things. Thanks, so we thanks. are thanks. We are showcasing artists. Comes that twang. Um, you know, they could be local to San Diego. They don't have to be local to San Diego. Um, I've got a no, couple we want around the world. Let's I've go. got a couple in the hopper. Ooh. Lori, I know you're you're out there right now. Um, her daughter. <laughs> oh my Calling gosh. you out, Lori. Um, well, <laughs> she's she's. We're gonna highlight her daughter as well, Julia. Okay. Um, I have. Uh, How old is she? She is, I think, 15, but I could be wrong. Um, wow. And so, and then we've got uh, some paintings to highlight, but we really want to, to invite you to uh, email us and, um, yeah, do a little video, do an audio. Uh, uh, the gal who sent me photographs of her paintings, and she, she wrote up some things about it, so we'll show you the paintings yeah. and, and some of her inspiration and, and all of that. And uh, if you have a poem you want to read, um, I was even saying recipes. I mean, you know, it's creative expression, right? So let's not put creative expression in a box. I don't want to put creative expression in a box. Um, I know Cindy was on. I was talking to her about maybe reading a, a children's book. We have this five-minute slot. Cindy wrote incredible. Cindy Holman wrote incredible children's books. Um, and so I said, maybe pick one of those and, mm -hmm. and do a, a video of, uh, of you reading that. Um, what, what do I, whatever you got, just send them our way. Um, so, so email Jill Elizabeth Wyckoff at gmail.com or email me Bray Wyckoff at gmail.com yep. or go to our website and go to the contact form. Just contact us, uh, kingdom creativity yeah. international.com. Yep. And then there's a contact form there and you can contact us. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just start preloading all of these, um, these little showcases that we want to showcase yeah. creativity in all different styles and forms. And, yeah. and uh, so it's fun. It is fun. It's great. It's powerful. So welcome to Backstage Pass. Welcome. Welcome to Backstage Pass, <laughs> um, where we invite you backstage, if you will, behind the veil, as a VIP that you are to have a conversation with our master creator. Yep. So we start off the conversation and we, we you know, God highlights some things to us. And, and so we bring them to you. We start the conversation and our prayer is that when we're off, that you will continue the conversation uh, with your master creator because uh, he loves to talk to us. Yeah. He loves to talk to us about all the things that are burning on our heart 
And, uh, you know, like, like, you know, just even what Samaria had, you know, fear, anxiety, and, you know, uh, people hiding behind happiness that really weren't happy and those kinds of things, Mm -hmm. you know, we have questions and, uh, he doesn't mind our questions. Actually, he loves them. And he loves, uh, he loves when we talk to him and bring those things to him. So that's backstage pass. And tonight Bray has something really exceptional. Who are you? I don't Um, even know who you are. I'm Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Uh, Jill. Uh, Jill. 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 Jill Wyckoff. How do you spell that? Jill Wyckoff. Ray Wyckoff. <laughs> yes. And we're professionals, if you can tell that already. We're, we're so professional. We're what, professional Christians, sir. <laughs> don't get me started with that, mister. <laughs> oh, yeah. please don't become a professional Christian. <laughs> uh, doesn't pay well. <laughs> I'm closing my mouth. So what else would you like to talk stirring about? Stirring it up, stirring <laughs> it up, stirring it up. Uh, well, you know, God's not afraid of those questions. We can talk about being professional Christians. Um, so what are we going to talk about tonight, Jill? 50 <laughs> Shades of, of Green. green. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this came to me, uh, God was just, God's been speaking to me for a while about this, this subject. And, uh, I was cracking a joke, uh, when we were going through it and, uh, I said, wow, 50 shades of green is what I'm seeing. And, uh, so I'm going to walk you through what, uh, what hap- what has happened with this whole 50 shades of green topic. And, uh, it has to do with vision it has to do with the uh, sight, what you see how you see colors. And uh, so I am colorblind. <laughs> and over 350 million people uh, in the world are colorblind to some, some degree, some extreme and some not so. Uh, I'm not to the extreme extreme where you're only seeing like black and white kind of stuff or the, you know, you only see half the colors of the rainbow. Those are more extreme. Mm-hmm. Um, I can still see all the different colors. I just don't see all, all the, different the colors. colors. <laughs> <laughs> I can see all the different colors. I see <laughs> all the different colors, but I just don't see all the different colors. That's- <laughs> uh, the sun will come out tomorrow. Okay. Anyways, um, so my kids got together and gave me this crazy gift of being able to see color. It's the coolest thing. So they got, they've all pitched in and they found out, you know, the different degree of my, my, my uh, color blindedness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember Tommy interrogating me and I didn't even know it. He was asking me different colors, a different thing. What do you see? He was driving us to the airport one day. And yeah. The next thing I know, they're giving me these, these glasses and I put them on and I'm like, Oh, that's weird. Why do I need sunglasses? I already have some, but, and it's got like this, uh, like it's this, a rose color like tint. A rose colored so tint in there. So if you are not colorblind, you're looking at a rose color glasses. Yeah, it's so, just pink. And and when I'm inside like this, I see more pink. Mm-hmm. It's better for outdoors. So when you know, I usually wear them when I'm driving because then I just see all of these amazing colors that I've never right. seen Ooh, before. Ah. <laughs> so I was I've been the bright shiny new toy I know. for the family. It's like, what, do what do you see here? What do you see here? What do you see? I go, yeah. stop it. I'm not a toy. He's, he is. He's like <laughs> my shiny new toy. <laughs> and so we're sitting out, of, out on, on our deck and I'm just looking out over, you know, which we've been there for, you know, well over a decade, mm-hmm. sitting outside for years. Just, I've always seen, uh, you know, these colors. And then I'm putting on these, these mm-hmm. glasses and, you know, minutes have gone by and I started noticing things and I'm like, you know, doing this huh, well, that's interesting. Um, There's this beautiful green tree. It's a pepper tree. And uh, it just, it just cascades down. It's like almost like a a, a brilliant firework, you know, it's all explodes and then it just, the leaves come down. Right. And so this pepper tree, I've always looked at it and, and it's been this beautiful emerald green color. Just beautiful. I always look at it and I go, wow, I really love this tree. I'm smiling because 
Because you're saying emerald green as if you really know what emerald well, green you know, is. But... I know emerald green, and that was emerald green. Okay. Right. It was emerald green. So when I looked over and I looked at the pepper tree that I've always admired, it's this beautiful emerald, just brilliant, just a single color um, of emerald, the, in my opinion. And I started noticing, like, some yellows and some browns, and then a gazillion different shades of green. Like, and then so, and then I started looking around on the horizon and I've always seen colors of green, but I've only seen two shades of green, light and dark. <laughs> now I see 50, 50 shades, shades of, of green. green. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been totally blown away wearing these glasses. Well, that literally was eye opening. And literally eye opening. And I'm like, and even when we're driving to, you know, around town and I'm like, all of this time I've made mention over the years, like, wow, look at that. It's just so green on that hillside. I just love the, the colors of green. And I'm sure my wife's sitting there going. Like I'm from the East coast where we have green, like I'm from, you know, New England, there's green. And so the winter months in here in California for me are like, well, it's dry. It's brown. It's yeah. And he's like, Oh, it's lovely. It's green. <laughs> And now I have my glasses about? and I'm like, I'm seeing browns and yellows and like, it looks dead. I'm like, it's almost better if I don't take, you know, don't wear the glasses. I see green. And, um, but it's been just mind blowing to see these different um, aspects of color that I've never seen before. Everything pops more. I can see the fire hydrant bright yellow. I can see the, the stop sign a bright red. I can see the, 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 the green of the, the stop, you know, the stoplight more uh, prevalent. You can see purple now. I can see purple one before I was seeing blue. And let me show yeah. you a picture real quick. So you guys have an idea yeah, this of is what really I'm cool. talking about. And um, so if I put this up here, so on the, on, uh, you know, so over here, you see the red, uh, 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 what butterfly, do they call it? Butterfly, butterfly. yes. You see the red butterfly? That's the normal vision. That's what you guys would see. But over on the other side, that's what somebody that's colorblind would see. So I'm not to that extreme. I can still see the reds, but it probably would be more orange to me. Very and muted. it might be more, and, and everything muted. more dull and muted for me. But here's the kicker here. So, Crazy. So here, I would see the uh, blue. Um, and you guys would see the purple. So when I go and look out and I see purple flowers, what you guys see purple flowers, I see them as blue. Right, so he's always loved jacaranda. The, yeah, the jacaranda, jacaranda trees, trees. He never saw them as purple, he only <laughs> saw them as blue. And so, then he put on his glasses and it was like, I put on my magical glasses, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> they changed color. <laughs> I'm did like, they, are these broken? Did they change color? These or broken. they always that color? <laughs> Yeah, so I've just been like going down the matrix thing here. I, I took the, the red pill, see, the red, and now uh, my whole world is blown up in my face. What I thought was truth has now become a lie. Right. But it was a truth that I was living in, and it was my truth, right? And we go, and this is the message that God was inviting me and saying, Ray, I'm showing you a different, you're seeing a different perspective of things. And it doesn't mean that one was, was not true because I was living in that world. I, you know, I am legitimately colorblind. So my truth is what I'm seeing, how I see it. Right. And then when God gives us a corrective lens, it changes right. our perspective. And now I'm seeing things from his point of view and his point of view trumps all other truths. Right. So you can say like, you know, people uh, say quite frequently, live your truth. Yeah. Right. Live your truth. And it sounds really good. Like be live free. your truth. Yeah. You live your truth. Your truth I'll is live your my truth. truth. I'll be my truth. Yeah. And we can live our truth. But is it ultimately true? Yeah. Is it, is it ultimate truth? Um, so here you are missing out on a reality that was an ultimate reality. Yeah. And you were living out of a lesser reality. Right. And God wants us to live in the fullness of truth. Right. Right. So, and there's, I mean, there's always, that's what we're learning. We're always exploring. We're always growing. We're always 
you know, having eyes to see, right? We ask for eyes to see. Right. We get a revelation. We go, oh, now were the jacaranda trees always purple? Yes. So that reality didn't shift and change because now we believe it to be true. Right. It was always true. It was always true. So there's that whole dichotomy where we can live in one truth, but there's another truth that can actually um, uh, top that. An ultimate truth. An so ultimate there's, truth. there's a true and there's a true and then there's, there's an, ultimate an ultimate truth, truth. right? Um, so that's the, the perspective that God was inviting me into saying, yeah, that was a truth that you lived in, but now I'm showing you the ultimate truth. Right. And it's interesting when we go to heaven, the colors are going to change again. Like our scales of our eyes, the way we see things now, right. it will change even then when we're in a new perspective, a new land. We'll be able to new, actually see more colors, more colors. that exist, right. that we know to exist. Right. It's crazy. Right. So it's just, it's just uh, fantastic to see and experience something in, in real time, real life, without just being an analogy. But actually, I, I've experienced this, and um, my sight was this way, and you guys are all going, wow, you see it that way? That's crazy. And, and then I'm trying to explain it to you, what I saw, and now I'm seeing what you guys see. And so we can see that even as a believer. I can see that way you got, when I was an atheist, I couldn't see crap of what you guys saw as, as believers, right? You saw a whole new level of way of seeing things, and you saw things through a perspective of God's lens that he gave you those. He gave, he took the scales from your eyes and he gave you new glasses. You can see things uh, from his perspective. You saw things through the lens of love. I saw the, through the lens of me. I saw it through the lens of I, I saw it through the lens of I have to survive and I'm not going to believe in some invisible thing that you guys are putting on some crazy glasses. There's this movie, and I, I'm trying to think. I think it's called They, they Live. And it's a, it's a, a crazy sci-fi movie. And it's them putting on these glasses. They can put on these glasses. And when they do, they see the aliens mixed oh. in with the people. But when they take them off, they just see people. <laughs> and so they're trying to get each other to wear these glasses. And if anyone's seen that movie, it's, 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 a, it's a classic. They Live. And... Um, Rowdy, Rod Piper, I think, was in it. Um, wrestler guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I think that's a great... But, yeah, but, it, you know, it's interesting because our, our truth, if you will, that mm -hmm. we're living out, um, it, it's based on, like, our experience and our... You know what I mean? So a lot of it is based on experience. Yep. Um, and so you actually experienced... You went from <coughs> one experience to another and elevated your truth. And isn't that the life of a Christian? Yeah. I mean, if you ask me if I, if I'm the same this year, if I, if I believe everything right now and take me back a year ago, a few weeks ago, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your We're perspective constantly growing in our perspective mm -hmm. and, um, and we, cause we have these new experiences. We have these new experiences when we read the word and then we experience the word yeah. and it, 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 the scales start to, you know, fall from our eyes. Like you say, and we are able to see clearly and we're able to see. And so, you know, yeah, just, we're just going to be doing this. I mean, Bray had this crazy experience with the glasses, but as a Christian, we get to experience this ongoing forever. Yeah. Just growing in our understanding and our perspective of him. All um, of us have gone through this in some degree because yeah. what we believed a year ago, we don't believe today or it's, it's, it's morphed into something else. Rich um, says was blind, but now I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I right, mean, Rich. yeah. Uh, John nine twenty five. the healed man replied. I have no idea what kind of man he is. Cause they were talking about the Pharisees wanting to know all the stuff about Jesus and and, but this man's like, all I know is that I was blind and now I can see for the first time in my life. He could care less about anything else. He's like, I can see. Are you right. guys kidding me? I was blind. You guys knew I was blind. Now I can see. I don't care about anything else, you know? Yeah. And, um, and then Acts 9, 18, and immediately something like scales fell from his eyes. 
something like scales fell from his eyes and his sight was restored. Um, That was with Paul, right? Which was blinded by the Lord. And then he met the person prayed over him and then something like scales came off of him. And uh, his whole new perspective uh, reminds me of a song. Oh gosh. A whole new world. (laughs) (laughs) Dazzling place. (laughs) All right. So (laughs) (laughs) moving right along. I love this. This But yeah, I mean, he came to give sight to the blind, right? So. And, but that's, and not just physical, that's but what spiritual. I'm, that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm it's going crazy. with right there. I mean, I was blind, like rich, like you. And the Bible says. You just um, called and rich I, blind. Why did you call him blind? Because he was blind too. Okay. Um, <laughs> we all were. And now we can see. And our sight is getting more clear. We can and more see, clear. Guys. Thank you, Jesus, for yeah. you know clarity. Clarity. Uh, give me clarity of sight. Yes, please. Um, and sometimes getting that clarity of sight um, calls for, obviously it calls for getting in the word and getting revelation, yeah. but it also calls for repenting and turning like, okay, I am, I am, I saw that way. I am not going to see that way anymore. I'm going to see this way. I'm going to look from the, yeah. put on new lenses, right? I'm yeah. going to see through the eyes of Jesus. And we've got a bunch of people. We've got this world trying to put on false lenses on us, right? Yeah. So uh, politics, media, you know, the, just the world, you know, the enemy, a uh, little less, Satan, always trying to corrupt our vision and our sight. And so the, the word of God is a lamp so we can see clearly. We need the light to see clearly. And when we, yeah. s- we break through that false lenses by going to the word um, and just follow them, what he has told you yeah. gave us a roadmap and um and this is the great part where we get to tell people hey i don't care about everything else around the world i was blind but now i can see we yeah. need to be like that blind man that, and just rejoice in it and when people see the rejoicing of who we are and we're not distracted by the world and the darkness that's trying to consume everybody it opens them up to being attracted to the good news of Christ. And like, what is it this that you see? I want to see it too. And then that's the opportunity when somebody just says, I want to see what you see. Mm-hmm. That's like the thief on the cross. Remember me. Right. You know, it just gives you an opportunity for God to, to just penetrate that hardened heart. Yeah. Angela was saying renewing of the mind, right? So, I mean, we do that. We, we put on those, those lenses to see the way God sees and we, we renew our mind and it trans, it transforms us literally from the inside out. Right. Yeah. Brings complete transformation. I always think of it too, as I mean, I'm looking at a sunset and uh, we've seen so many sunsets, but we never see them better by the way. Well, it's true, but, (laughs) but we've never seen the same sunset no. they're always different and that's god's just showing us there's something new every day and that we should appreciate every day that we wake up and that's when we say mm. wow it's a new day and god's not saying to forget what's happened in the past because he's you know wrote the bible he wanted us to read the history he wanted us to see things but that doesn't mean that we dwell in the past it doesn't mean he wants us to have our eyes on him in the for the future and and to lead people towards him because i when you look up like if you go to new york mm-hmm. when people start going back to new york that's yeah, an old new york i think you're, i think i know where you're <laughs> you going. knew where i'm going with this right i think i know just where you're look going up, with this. just look up and and people walking by are going to stop we used to and do that look all up. the time when you go, what kids. are you looking at we did that all the time your kids because we wanted to see you know i guess it's like the people like the kids who do this to have see the truckers yeah. will honk. Well, when you're a kid in New York, that's what we did anyway. We look up. You just look up. And then we laugh. See how many people will and people are like, stand there and look up like like they want to see something. Too. And that's the same thing with Christ. If we're, if we're looking up at him, people are going to be looking. They want to go, what are you looking at? You know, yeah, that's the good, question, the, the perspective. And, and you have a chance to give, show them a whole new world, a whole new perspective. And you have an opportunity to give them glasses. Hey, put these glasses on. You're going to see what I see. A lot more shades. 50 shades of green. 
<laughs> who would have thought? I only saw two shades of green. You people. saw light. And I saw dark. light and dark. I saw emerald green, and I saw a darker shade of emerald green. <laughs> <laughs> now I see fifty shades of green. It's a brilliant color. It's amazing. Just yeah. that's one color. And 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 if you guys were at my house, you'd be doing the same thing. Like, what do you see, Bray? What do you see here? What do you see? What do you see? It is truly see, go, like I opening the it. eyes of the blind. You're like, yeah. wow. And you guys are tripped out too because you're like, wow, you didn't see that? You I didn't mean, see that. And then it helps you guys understand that what you were taking for granted was less oh, for somebody else. That's good. And what we take for granted as believers, we need to shift that and go, guys, people are lost. People are not seeing the colors that you're seeing. They're Come not on, seeing break break. the truth that you're seeing. And we need to stop taking that for granted mm -hmm. and realize every time we're out shopping, every time we're out and you just look around, take an opportunity to look and have eyes to see what God's seeing and say, God, what yeah. do you want me to talk to? Who do you want me to say something to? Maybe there's an encouraging word. Maybe I just need to say hi to somebody. And Jill's done that where she's just gone shopping and, and with a, with a <laughs> focus of I just need to go out and say hi to something. I'm not here to buy something. I'm here to say hi to somebody. And because she had the purpose with God to have eyes to see. And it's time for us to not take things for granted when we wake up every single morning, guys. This is our day. This is the day that God has prepared for us. Let's be thankful and rejoice in it. And that's when scripture comes alive because look at what the heck's happening with us in this world. Like, we took, we took for granted all of our days of our life. We take for granted even now. We don't know when our last breath is going to be. And, and we take that for granted. You know, I call it the Superman complex, where we all think we're indestructible. You know, we think we got a prophetic word. I got to fulfill this prophetic word. I can't get taken out now. But the enemy's out there and still steal, kill, and destroy. Um, so let's not take um, for granted what we've got and what we see and how we see things and let's uh, let's pray for those I agree to get eyes to see like us eyes to see yeah yeah and and people to start living god's truth yeah you know recognizing god's truth yeah because it's not just about our truth because our truth is not necessarily true true that in the <laughs> true that <laughs> true that <laughs> True dad. <laughs> um, so that's all I got for you guys. Um, that's good, all we got. Right? And, but I, I feel God wants to continue the conversation with all of us behind the stage, backstage with him. And uh, so stay with him. Linger yeah. with him. Ponder like, I, it. I ask him, what, what, like, God, what am I seeing that is yeah. not ultimate truth? How am I looking at something or someone or a certain condition or situation that seems so true to me, mm -hmm. but isn't really true? It's not the way you see it. And show me, God, how you see it. Show me, um, give me your lenses. Give me eyes to see so that I can see not based off of my experience, but based off on who you are. Yeah. on who you are yeah. and who you are to me. Yeah. And uh, just ask them, just talk to them. So right now, I just break off the scales that have crusted over our eyes right now and let you give, that God just gives you new eyes to see right now in Jesus' name. That when you look around, that you're going to see a new perspective, a kingdom perspective on, on people. It's not just things of beauty in this world. It, it's the people that God is after. And uh, I just pray for you, all of us to have eyes to see the people that God has placed in front of us and that they matter, that you're praying diligently for your family, for your children, for your spouse, and that you're praying for others that God's going to send to reach them. Because I know how difficult it is as family to reach family. All of us understand that, and we need help. And so I just pray for all of us to have eyes to see and ears to hear what God is saying in this time that yeah. he's positioned us right now. Yeah, in this situation, mm -hmm. in uh, where God has placed us in this world and the things that we see going on around us, swirling around us, that he would give us all eyes to see um, very clearly the way he is seeing this and to have yeah. discernment. Um, and to see uh, from his perspective. Yeah. Yeah. In Jesus' name.
in Jesus name. Woo! Woohoo! High five! High five! Bam! There you go, guys. Coming at you from Scottsdale. Scottsdale, Arizona. And next Wednesday, AC. where will we be? We could be back in San Diego, or we might be somewhere else in Arizona or New Who Mexico. Knows? Who knows? But, we're uh, on the road. We're, we're on, on the, the road. road. And uh, we're having some fun and doing some ministry and um, seeing yeah. where the Lord seeing brings family. us. Yep. Yeah. And so. Uh, so just have fun, guys. Be adventurous with God. Uh, even amongst the pandemic, even amongst all the darkness that you see, have fun with God. Um, this is your time. This is your place. And uh, just enjoy the moment that God has given us here because we're, we have eternity um, before us. Isn't yes. that awesome? When you think about it. You know what else is awesome? <laughs> yeah, eternity. You know what else is awesome? What's awesome? Your glasses. <laughs> they look really cool. You look really cool. Yeah. Thanks, kids, for yep. buying those glasses. For Thank that. you, guys. Woo! Okay. All right. All right. How do we end this? Um, usually press something that cuts us off. Okay. Let me look for it. Which is a good thing because you don't <laughs> want us to keep going. <laughs> some, we love you guys. Some, Go love on one another. Talk to us, God. Some people want us to keep going. Learn new stuff. Let us know what he's telling you. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll just end it so there. long. We could go on Farewell. forever. Uh, right. Love you guys. Have Bye a great now. night. Have a great weekend. And praying for all of you. And uh, we love you and encourage you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys. Bye.